is well. A conspiracy to kill Kennedy, as I show in the movie, can originate with one phone call, only at the most secret point is a compromise made. There has to be a phone call from somebody with some power to a mechanic. The mechanic puts it into operation. It's not even necessary for the mechanics to know each other's names. It can be done with as small a group as five to six to seven people. Now, and then I think there's a conspiracy to cover it up. Now, in the conspiracy to cover it up, it is not to say that those people in the cover-up know who or how and what happened to Kennedy. Something is in the air, but nothing is on paper. There's plausible deniability. In the conspiracy to cover it up, you don't necessarily have to believe that he was killed, but you know something happened. You don't want to embarrass the government. You want it to go away. Lyndon Johnson wanted it to go away. So you think Lyndon Johnson and Earl he's Warren on paper, fall into that camp? He's on paper saying to Earl Warren, it's documented, saying that we got to get... 40 million lives are at stake. This is his direct quote. There are nuclear wars possible if the American people believes that Castro did it, which is why I think Johnson believed. We've got to cool this out. We've got to, you know, quiet it down, make it work. Single gunman, it works for everybody. Don't forget that when Oswald was killed on Sunday by Jack Ruby, the New York Times at headline said, President's assassin killed. They didn't say President's alleged assassin. They never even gave Oswald the benefit of a trial or any kind of, nobody defended him. He was libeled from the beginning as the assassin. And the fact that Ruby killed him sealed the case for a lot of people. That was the cover-up. When the Warren Commission came out, the New York Times that day said that this is the legitimate and definitive account of the assassination. And numerous editorials since have always defended the Warren Commission. Smile,
tears from my eyes, the wrinkles out of my brain. Reverend Saint Dr. Dogsomatics. <sighs> Ouch. Yes. Father oh, yeah. Coitus Interruptus. Oh, yeah. Sister Clone. Evangeline Sapphire is here. Mm. She's back! Yes. She's back! Yeah. Hallelujah, Evangeline. How you doing? <laughs> Boys, Bob's gonna be real. <laughs> Along with us tonight, <laughs> we have a special Tonight people is from especially San special. Yes, why don't you tell them about that group? Sister Mal Neuro is here. They've traveled many miles. And they are miles. Mal Neuro, a lot of skinny guys. It's over it's scary been about 24 hours hills. since we eaten. They're kind of a brown, hairy they object. <laughs> they feel good. <laughs> They're looking good. <laughs> hey, you know, we get... Uh, Sackfuls of mail in here at the uh, the radio station, all you lovely listeners. Yeah, it's right. going out the and, hallway. Uh, Sacks. It's come to our attention that uh, you're not paying attention to a lot of the answers we're trying to give you. So <laughs> we're going to try to be a little more overt about it and answer some of them right right here and now. You got a question for us? Yeah. Um, this one comes to us from a, uh, a Mark Johnson. Uh, he says, "Why can't I go swimming after I eat?" Bob replies, "Because a man has liberty if he is free." Bob. And another one from out of state. If I could be any late model American car, which one should I be? And Bob says, I would be a 64 Valiant because you become who you are. I think that was, uh, who said that? Nietzsche. Nietzsche. Uh, Frederick Nietzsche. So why, why is it that you, uh, you see George Bush always got his hand in his pocket? Uh, you ever notice that? Because man is naked when faced with the absurd. Hey, I got a question here from uh, J J J Johnny Cunningham. Is, what does Johnny Cunningham have to is, say? Is, he, wants, he, he wants to know, what if, what if I come too fast? How, how's my partner going to react? Who cares? I mean, enjoy yourself. Should I go slower? Should I just pay attention? I mean, most, of, most of the time, I just think of the Denny's Journal, and I go slower. But it, sometimes I just come too fast. And I want to know, how does my partner respond? I mean, should it, am I, is it okay? Latest estimates place the percentage of adult American men who have had sexual contact with another man at 20%. Oh, okay. Bob? Bob? Your genitals. <laughs> Your genitals. Look with your closed eyes at your genitals and say to your genitals, in your mind, relax. Baby, baby. Baby, baby. We are controlling transmission. Well, signal your subconscious mind. Are you suffering from information overload? You suffering from information overload? These telemetry tapes will introduce you to the Bob Dodds. <laughs> Welcome, dear friends, 
to another transcribed radio adventure of The Sub Genius Show. Broadcasting live from Bob's Country Bunker in Leon, California, and brought to you by the Worldwide Radio Outreach Ministries of the Church of the Sub Genius and the KHSU. Well, signal your subconscious mind flashing a message. But he's always smiling. Listen to Aristotle wishy-washy words outing sicker men get for ficulate smartish. Well, my friends, you got religion here today. I'm getting good. I'm getting good. What moment was that? At the time, well, hours, zero minutes. Coordinated universal time. November 22nd, 1963. <laughs> 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 The real question isn't why, the how and the who is just scenery for the public. Oswald, Ruby, Cuba, the Mafia keeps them guessing like some kind of parlor game prevents them from asking the most important question, why? This was never more true than for John F. Kennedy, because murder was probably one of the most terrible moments in the history of our country. You the people, the jury system sitting in judgment on Clay Shaw. The jury system sitting in judgment on Clay Shaw. Represent the judgment on Clay Shaw. Humanity against government power. Government power. Humanity against government power. And discharging your duty. And discharging. Bringing the first conviction in this house. Bringing the first conviction against Clay Shaw. Conviction. That's not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Your dying king. 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 Bob. Your dying king. Your dying king. I'm bringing the first conviction in this house of cards against Clay Shaw. That's not what this country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Do not I guess I'm going to have to start the Your dying king. Your dying king. Show the story. Your dying king. This is still the government of the people for the people. I'm guessing like some kind of parlor game prevents them from asking the most important question, why? Why was Kennedy killed? Who benefited? Who has the power to cover it up? Tripped up on their own scientific evidence and they had to back off. Tripped up on their own scientific evidence. American citizen who has grown too tired of uh, being protected from the truth. What is the you know, truth? Whatever is Joe Sixpack supposed to do other than do maybe an armed arm insurrection arm. to uh, make our elected officials uh, move on? Don't use the truth. Insurrection to uh, make our to, uh, elected officials uh, move on to. Uh, Don't you about a crime bill, pure and simple. Y'all gotta start thinking on a different level like the CIA does. Now we're through the looking glass here, people. Can, uh, can we define why Bob is just palindrome and, and God is a dog? Why Rika Bakery? Think about it. Think about that, boys and girls. Why Rika Bakery? Write it on a bathroom wall. Hallelujah, Evangeline. How you doing? <laughs> boys, Bob's gonna be real soon. <laughs> Along with us tonight, we have a special 
group tonight. of people this is from San Francisco. Special. Yes, why don't you tell them about that group, Sister Colleen? Mal Neuro is here. They've traveled many miles. And they are miles. Mal Neuro, a lot of skinny guys. It's over it's scary been about 24 hours hills. since we've eaten. They're kind of a brown, hairy object. <laughs> they feel good. <laughs> They're looking good. <laughs> Hey, you know, we get uh, sackfuls of mail in here at the uh, the radio station, all you lovely listeners. Yeah, it's right. going out the and, hallway. Uh, it's come to our attention that uh, you're not paying attention to a lot of the answers we're trying to give you, so <laughs> we're going to try to be a little more overt about it and answer some of them right, right here and now. You got a question for us? Well, yeah. Um, this one comes to us from a, uh, a Mark Johnson. uh he says, why can't I go swimming after I eat? Bob replies, because a man has liberty if he is free. Bob. And another one from out of state. If I could be any late model American car, which one should I be? And Bob says, I would be a 64 Valiant because you become who you are. I think that was, uh, who said that? Nietzsche. Nietzsche. Uh, Frederick Nietzsche. So why, why is it that you, uh, you see George Bush always got his hand in his pocket? Uh, you ever notice that? Because man is naked when faced with the absurd. 16,424 billion years before Christ. The division of the time streams. Positive time splits from negative time. I don't think that's possible. I think you're wrong there. The, uh, the universe started in 4004 BC. October 23rd, 9 in the morning, I think that has become... May 3rd, 40 billion B.C., The Flash, In the Span, The Big Bang. They called it the Zimzum. 4 billion B.C., The Encoding, First Light, Creation of the Elder Gods. You know, now that I think about it, that, now, that I, now, that, now that I do, I, that was the same day, the same day my, my palm turned green. It wasn't purple anymore. I mean, it was green. My girlfriend freaked out and left me. Dr. Dog Somatic, did a yeah. rotten prairie squid get in the studio somehow? Are you familiar with prairie squids? The prairie squid hours have you ever had a prairie squid eventually? Right I'm afraid not. I don't Let think they have those pieces of rock. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. All right. It's a soft, slimy thing. First, you have to de-beak it. Oh, yeah. They're hermaphroditic. Uh -huh. Men can use them. Women really? can use them. All right. Do they have ridges? They have ridges right where you need them. Oh, yeah. They, they asked me to make love to they it, but it, its arms and its body were all they about chicken. Live, squishy and gooey beings. and rubbery. Oh, yeah. Dr. Dogzomatics, do we have any more information on the 1-900 Bob line? How does it work? Information on how to use a prairie squid? I need to know. It makes you feel real good. Touch yourself. Mm. Touch yourself. The right good. places. Put your hands on the show. No. Touch yourself. It makes you feel real good. Mm. Put your hands on Boil your genitals afterwards for 20 minutes. Think about that prairie squid. Touch the person next to you. Uh, yeah. I can't stand this little Can anybody answer this for me? Anymore? Anymore? Well, I think mail? we have a question. We have, we have a question. Father Coitus interrupt us. Read our latest. Uh... Well, we're just wondering how many uh, Secret Service officials it takes to screw in a light bulb. <coughs> I'm sorry. We do not have sufficient information to accurately respond to that question at this time. Next question, please. Oh, we're skirting that one. How about uh, the relationship between Reagan's colon cancer and that tumor on his nose last year? Latest estimates place the percentage of adult American men who have had sexual contact or orgasm with another man at 20%. What are you implying there? What's the difference between a Christian and a trampoline? You take off your shoes before you jump on a trampoline. Yeah! What happened to me last year at that New Year's Eve party? <laughs> there was dog shit on the trampoline and we all stepped in it. <laughs> Any callers tonight, Dr. Dogs? Yeah, right. No, no callers. We've got all the answers. We need some more questions. Is J.R. Bob Dobbs a benevolent, benevolent being? Who's making it till 4 or 30? Is J.R. Bob's Bob Dobbs a benevolent being? Bob is the sacrifice. Bob, Bob is the is prayer. prayer. Bob, Bob is the mother, the father, the ancestor, and the guardian. Oh, Bob. Bob is the end of all learning, and that which purifies. Bob is the way, the Lord, the judge, the witness, the abode, and the refuge. Death is Bob. Immortal life is Bob. Visible life is Bob. Can I get a witness? Praise Bob. Yeah. Praise Bob. Bob. 
and then you must ask yourself, do I really need to remain entirely human any longer? Has Bob been in me? I mean, Bob is in you. Bob is all around. Sometimes I wake up and my and I have this pain in my my rectum. And is it Bob? Bob's been in you. But don't worry, he's pure. Is he Bob wearing a condom? You know, I don't think I'm drinking any coffee. You're probably drinking too much coffee. Sometimes I hear this voice in my head that says, "I've been in you. I've been Stop in it. you." Stop it. Is that Bob? That's Bob. Stop it. <laughs> Bob's Dateline for Dominance, 1993 data. Glaciers start melting, port cities flooded, drought, mutation, environmental poisons and pestilence worsens already critical world My famine. ears going out. Oh, yeah. Dateline for Dominance, My 1994. Ears. Abnormals gain upper hand in civil war. Church of the Subgenius finally becomes single most powerful force in America. The only well, thing holding the nation happened, intact. Bob puts his super science community to work on Alternative 9 Project. Select subgeniuses are recruited, altered, and sent to colonies of Mars on the moon, just in case. Happy belated Valentine's Day. When I think about hearts, I think about Bob, because I think Bob's got a big heart. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So like, uh, I guess we're gonna listen to Mal Neuro now. So uh, yeah, we yeah. got a great band Mal for you tonight. Mal oh yeah, those that are still kicking <laughs> and uh, those who are so um, Mal Neuro wanker by the minute, they're withering away. All right. Um, so uh, you guys like, are you are you gonna do any songs glorifying and praising the name of uh, J.R. Bob Dobbs and Jehovah One, who's come to save us from the horrible icky Exus people? Uh, well. I would hope so. Oh yeah, who? So like, why don't you guys introduce yourselves or something? Okay, well this is um, Mal Neuro. Uh, it's a, uh, somebody on drums, on guitar, on bass, and a singer. Right on. We'll get to it. Okay, I'll start with a uh, given mark. Start with a uh, given mark. Number five. Okay. <laughs>
You guys, um, that was, what was that song called? Oh, uh, that was called... No okay, why don't you do one more for us? Okay, and then we'll... Feeling pretty, pretty damn good. Extra half hour of slack, so praise, praise, praise.
Brought to you by the Church of the Genius. The unveiling of the overpowering lies that drive you the poor befuddled fink. These shining lies fed to you by the conspiracy serve to keep you chained in eternity, before, during, and after life, slaving towards if not exist, an ideal that is not. The four lies of church, family, school, and work are simultaneously the boulder-laden cart you pull uphill and the black-robed slave master that whips you mercilessly onward, and the carrot dangling in front of us just out of reach. The four lies will not get you what you want. Only Bob will get you what you want. Slack. You want slack. Praise slack. The first and foremost lie of Western civilization is church. Hundreds of doctrines promise you salvation, peace, heaven, nirvana, beautific spiritual bliss, and all the answers. But God is alive, the white-robed, all-knowing, eternally watchful Father is a crumbling, dusty corpse propped against the cross he nailed his son to. According to the church, before birth you are doomed. You come into the world tainted by original sin. Throughout life, you cannot hope to achieve the purity of the neon Jesus, the video telepreacher, the celibate white male patriarchal pope pretend to offer you. If only you bow before them in eternal humility. Upon your death, your frail, sick vessel merely decomposes. You will not be saved. The church's lies to force you to do the will of those in power in exchange for false slack. The church cannot give you what you want. Jesus cannot give you what you want. The Pope cannot confirm what you want. The preacher cannot invoke what you want. I don't know what I want. Only J.R. Bob Dobbs holds the answers to slack. I don't know. Are you there, caller? Greetings and salutations. Greetings and salutations. Speaking. Uh, yes, this is Mr. Vaughn Dominatrix. Oh, my. Oh, my. Did somebody say Dominatrix? I'm sorry. I, I was oh, unavoidably she's detained. She's, she's beautiful and unavoidably detained. I've seen her. I'll bear witness. I thought this was Miss Benita Applebaum. <laughs> no? No, I'm sorry. No. Something, something, uh, called. Hey, 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 guess what? Happened. Guess what? We're all cheering gum. You want to hear? Yeah. Wow, what kind? Big red. <laughs> Big Bob. Which one on a Which one on a leg of Bob? Actually, it's cool. Dominatrix? Yeah. Have you, have you been unavoidably detained by a, an interface of the conspiracy? And would you care to describe the nature of that interface? It was very strange. It was another world, actually. They kind of collided at the same time. Did the men in black gloves come to get you? Yes, they did. Sister Dominatrix? They my mind for several hours. Sister Dominatrix? Yes. When is a man free? I don't think a man slave. is ever truly free. Unless when a happy. man can slam dance on the rice paper without leaving a mark, he is free. Go, young grasshopper, slam dance. Sister Dominatrix? Yes. Do you know what television really is? It's an evil box. It's fascism. 
God. That's God. That's God. My God. Sister Dominatrix. Yeah. If you can answer this, you have slack. If your mind is a toaster, when you think, what do you make? Waffle. Uh, I think that one's right. But yeah. That was a trick question. Yes, uh, yeah, that was a trick. Full credit. Trick question. Yeah. <laughs> We have a survey here by, uh, by Bob that says, you know, we got a lot of poor and lonely people out there on Valentine's Day. Well, yeah. everybody is, yes. Yeah. Yeah, we got a couple of them here tonight. We're gonna... That's why we're all listening to the show. Yeah. There is no love. What were the questions you were going to ask? There is no Dominic? love without Bob. Here, let me, let me ask her something. Sister Dominatrix? Yeah. What do you do if it hurts? Uh, could it be an infection? I have another beer. Scar tissue? What if you're not excited enough? Sister, are you there with us? Yes. Will religion help? Does Ben Gay work? No, Ben Gay actually tends to... Uh... Bomb. Yes, Dr. Dr. Maddox. Yes. Well, my God, you talking about that thing in the corner? You're not making sense to me, Dr. Dr. Maddox. Speak more clearly. Is he breakdancing? Oh, I, I didn't want to do it on the air. Well, that's a full Nelson. Can you, like, do this? Stay that far off of it? Yeah. Cool. Oh, sorry. Uh, technical <laughs> difficulties. Is our Beyond our control. Yeah. We're back. I got you this moment. Remember to remain a Mormon book of distance from the mic. Safe mic usage. It's okay. It has a, it has a mic condom on it. So. not in service. So, of the four shining lies. What's our next, our next shining lie? The next shining lie. When Western civilization, the next shining lie of Western civilization. Oh, go ahead, Evangeline. So, uh, I, I, I ruined it. Evangeline, talk to me, baby. So, Speak. Dominatrix. Speak. Yeah. <laughs> can, can we have that surfer? Wait a minute, now? Evangeline's having a breakdown. <laughs> Somebody do something. <laughs> Bring her a prairie squid or a hot buttered rum martini. Or a shotgun. Just come over here Just on this side of the show with me, little caller. <laughs> Are you over here? Oh, um, oh, am I over there? Yeah, now we're over there. I'm over there in spirit. Okay. My, my astral she's body on is uh, She's on the other side body. of the show now. Oh, we can't see her now. Over there behind the veranda near the sacred pea dog bushes. I, I can see her through the blossoms. Her can you see my astral body? I look into that mirror and I, I see myself, but I feel you. I feel you both. I feel, I feel you all. I'm, I feel like I'm, 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 I'm coming up So can we have that surf report now? The surf report? Yeah. Hey, yeah, uh, surf the ocean of the ocean. <clears throat> Great storm, man. Bigger waves. Could we get an ocean view from the veranda? Probably not at night. A what? I think we could mobile? rotate the veranda and get an ocean view. An ocean view. Perhaps, well. Yeah, we could do that. Could we not descend into the hot tub? We. Anybody for a dip in the tub? Well, now make up your mind. Which one do you want to do? Do you want to go to the bottom? Do you want to get in the hot tub? P-L-O-T. I'm in the show. We're not going to do that. Shark is to me, baby. S-I-M. Why are the children? P-L-O-T. Doing? What are you doing? Rotate. Fuck the S-I-M. And we are rotated. 16. 24. Check. Should we, what should we, should we put her in the tube? Oh, yeah. I think so, because knowledge leads us easily to prison as to the sleep of the Are you innocence. ready to be tubular, little caller? Yes, I am. Okay, hang on. May you sleep the sleep of the blameless. You gotta scream like, doctors. you gotta scream like Slim Pickens did when he was riding that big H-bomb down. Ready? All right. There she is. Look at the there shower of sparks Flying over Arcata Bay. Arcata Bay and out towards Samoa. Our little star-spangled dominatrix. More mail collected at Bob's Country Bunker in Weot, California. What is the fate of the non-believer? The fate of the non-believer is that he will be cast from the warm bed of ignorance to sleep on the cold couch of despair in the parlor of absurdity. Here, I found this one. It's been uh, sitting around for a couple of weeks. We've all, all been working on it. So if this God person is really so all-powerful and great, why did he let Detroit make pacers and gremlins? Answer, God is dead. I think that might be the bottom line. If you were at a friend's house for Thanksgiving dinner and you found a dead cockroach in your salad, what would you do? I'd eat him! 
Yes. Naturally, you would eat it because one's conscience is a similarly malicious parasite that rides free on the back of every idea, the subconscious gray matter you spread on every wafer of thought. It's not that at all. I just like cockroaches. Some people, especially women, have never experienced orgasm. They sometimes like to use their voice. Maybe as simple as never having touched the places you like. Just for fun. The way you like them. I know a troll. Begin with touching yourself. Sometimes sings a little silly song like this. Touch yourself. Touch yourself. It feels good. What, your favorite troll? My favorite troll? My favorite troll. Rodeo background? Rodeo background? All that talk about Bob's country bunkers got me in the mood for some shit-kicking music. Shadily dum de mooly, and a one dum de shadily boom, boom, shadily dum de mooly, truly mooly, troll de boom, shadily. There he is, there it is. Word sounds for yourself, isn't it? There are so many sounds in the world. If the more you play with sounds, the better you can hear a lot of different ones around you. If you make a sound like that, Bob's chart of time. Remember yourself. 4 million BC, the encoding, first life, creation of the elder gods, the stocking of the tank, and the code of the seed, the evolution of life directed by the elder gods. Are you waiting for the second coming? The third coming? Has it already happened? 160 million BC. You're just not living in somebody else's dream. The first, me- not dreaming, so. the first meddling and removal. The Exus first uses tools by elder gods to wipe out dinosaurs. 80 million BC. What the hell do you think you're doing? The seed of man. The first Bob. Yetis and Eden. Atlanteans and humans quick evolved by elder gods as lesser fools. And then 24 hours and 79 million BC. Corruption of the Atlantean Yetis. Interbreeding with humans. Interbreeding? The first tampering with the score. Interbreeding? Scorer. You mean like those born-again types? Years, they grew funny. You ever consider because them born-again types? Might just be those, those heretics they're talking about. All had children with demons. brothers and sisters. Yet he's devolved into homo connecticus. And, and, and the flood of and and get too many that the elder gods by themselves. Try this you know, something going put between family members. Put one hand in hot just, water. You put the other really, hand in cold really water. Up your and you put both your hands in warm water. water. What does your brain you tell you? And like, you can't straighten it out because you stu- the genes you have, the genes are stuck. Everybody likes to lose. Everybody likes to lose. Jehovah One and Team defy the sleeping elders. The building of Asgard. Jehovah One smites Astralopolithicus to create humans. Later smites Exus into smiting Homo Connectus into modern Yeti. The age of the stifling second coming. Humanity and Sergina are manipulated and stunted by elder gods' minions, yet evolved and led by rebel gods. The years of trouble. Rebuilding of civilization. The divorce of Yahweh from Eris. The first 272 messiahs. The first coming in Bob's past lives. The time of PEE. Modern times in general. 1920 AD. Manipulation of the angelic host. Exists repossessed. And the parting of the twins. Bob splits from the anti Bob. Yee-haw! Bob! From the end of Bob! 1940, the divine immaculation. Bob actually contacted by Wotan. You are here, the world church. Subgenius grows to world religion. 
Come There's on. a ringing in my ears. Somebody's talking about it. Hello. 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 Hi, is Janer there? Can I speak with him, please? Um, shh, shh, quiet, quiet. We're sneaking up on everybody. Shh, shh, shh. It's quiet. Hide behind the bushes. It's uh, St. Janer Hypercletes from Little Rock, Arkansas. Yeah. The mighty Doctors for Bob. Not now they have a new band called Southland Corporation. They're pretty cool. Hello? Yeah. Maybe he'll sing for us. Yeah. Serenade us to sleep here tonight. Um, I think he said he, uh, he was going to serve him up like a lamb chop. Oh, hey, hey, whoa. It, it, Hello? Yes? Oh, he's still a, Could I take a message? Oh, yes. You can tell him this is show calling him. Who? Show? Bush. Bush. Just in the middle of the night. say what? Show is calling, and we wanted to talk to him live in front of thousands of people. Okay. Okay, but we, we, are, are you um, St. Hypercletes' um, parental unit? Yes, and I'm, I'm asleep also. <laughs> okay, well, well, have happy dreams. All right, thank you. Bye. Did you ask that lady's permission to put her voice on the air? Yes, we did, yes. So, anyway. I think the suede denim FCC police could... Yeah, sounds like they're already here in the studio. <laughs> oh. Nineteen ninety-eight, seven a.m. The end of the world and advent of the angelic host. Mark it on your calendar. Excess land. The time and halftime begin here. Don't hold your breath. Nineteen ninety-nine A.D. Initiation of the Overmen. Either subs or anti-Bob forces hooked to and on alien technology. Computer MWOWM activated. Two thousand A.D. The ascension of the host or the pullout. Excess leave. World without slack. Bad totalitarian post Texas world of the future. Around 2070 AD, the second coming, an unmasking of the new false prophets. Temptation of the pinks. Good bad world of the future. Over men becoming hooked on time control. Violation of the gut blowout. The score used for time control. Opening of the books of the door to the before life. Overmen start raising monsters from the id. Nazi hell creatures emerge. Mm -hmm. Well, three days in 2178 AD. The rupture or Omicron Epsilon, the world made flesh. The elixir gives all mental life stenches form. Attempted overnight evacuation of Earth via translation. Is that William S. singing? Yeah, yeah, listen to him there. I hear him. He sounds like a, a sick wolf on his way out. <laughs> yes, it's Af Lieber in Gettel's Tote by William S. Burroughs. Oh, Do we have a translation on that? Yes, it's, um, oh my God, I shot my wife in the head at a party and I'm really sorry. Surrounded by young little boys and I saw to me. That's a William Burroughs joke for all you William Burroughs fans out there. Um, can you pronounce my name too? Yes, um, John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Is that it? Uh, it's Schmid. Oh, Schmid, I'm sorry. You say Schmid. I say Schmid. <laughs> you say Schmid. The second greatest of the four lies is family. The mythical notion of the nuclear family, sustaining its members with love, support, and sympathy, is dead, scattered on the four winds by the brutalities of modern post-industrial life. The mythical father is strong and kind and all-knowing, a bulwark of support against the harsh reality of life. Papa hurt me. In reality, the father is the abusive alcoholic brute. The absent Ulysses, the domineering, enraged Hitler. I don't want to go home. The mythical mother is sweet and lovely. I just want to go home, Mom. The gentle, wise Penelope. 
Your real mother seeks to enfold you in her sucking womb forever. Your mother is a many tentacled octopus keening senselessly as you struggle to free yourself. Self, 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 self. Your siblings are sliming snails seeking to outdo you in every way possible. Your sister gets better grades. Your brother doesn't get into trouble. Next week, our next two shining lies of Western civilization. Work. Slower. And school. But it, sometimes I just... What if I dumped it? 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 Jehovah One gives up his anonymity. Time intersection and the instant of the breaking of the code, the transfiguration of the twins and the aversions of the rupture of the equilibrium. Bob and other Bob reunited. We lost a member. The new Jerusalem. Everything okay again. The age of slack. Where were you? Elder gods. And rebel gods deteriorating. There's a mass confusion. Rolling in the... Fighting... Mm. Escape from the planet of the clocks. Safe time control achieved. I turned off my IQ, Mom. The limit of the flash and the rending of the buried fabric. I, 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 I can't removal. The true backwards rupture. I've missed the boat. There's a mass confusion there. Rolling and fighting. End of the world too. Judgment day. Yeah, I can, I can, I'm um, mm -hmm, getting tired. The end of the span. Time reversal is the place of eternity. Start um, over at the beginning. Yeah, I feel kind of warm, I don't. The splice of eternity. Processing begins. I got a uh, big headache. That's why I take these. They make me smile. The head of the, the head span. Of the span. Something. Expulsed uh, uh, from nothing. I, I like to I smile, like to so smile. I like to take these. Division of time streams. Positive time splits from negative time. That's um, three more and I'll, I'll be there, Mom. Uh -huh. Dateline for dominance, 1994. Yeah. Anti-Bob now runs Global Congress. Okay, well, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't recommend it. Never. Mm -hmm. One world government lording it over all secular aspects of ruined planet Earth. Bob, now master of all religion and commerce. Commerce having become more closely related to church than government. I, um, if I give them back to Greenwich, medium time is five o'clock. Well, dateline for dominance, 1995 data. Russian psychic warfare techniques unleashed on world at large in last ditch attempt to unseat Bob. Okay, well, I, I said today. it won't happen to me. Maybe it was yesterday, I don't remember. Bob unveils the secret weapon. Maybe. Maybe there are others like you around. Maybe you've caused a lot of suffering, a lot of history, but that's all over. We'll be on guard now. We'll be ready for you. So ship out. Now we're back on. Are you doing that oral thing with the mic again there, Sister Clark? I can't help it. I just keep rubbing it up against myself because I'm afraid I won't come. I'm afraid it's going to come too fast. I'm afraid it'll work. There's more than five microphones at any given time in the state of Arizona. I'm afraid it'll work. It does hurt, but it's okay. It's a... I it's think a it's good the exclusive campaign. worship of the bitch goddess success and our yes. national disease we call love. I am the bitch goddess. I am your sanitary napkin receptacle. Wow, that sounded so postmodern, man. Mother died today. Isn't that redundant? Postmodern. 
new. So um, I guess we're gonna let um, Mal Nero do another song here. But yeah. I'm gonna, getting a little restless. I'm gonna remind you right now that you're tuned to 90.5 FM in Arcata, KHSU, Perverse Public Radio for the North Coast. And um, also give you a reminder that Your Saving Grace is here. She's in the studio right now. We have her strapped down. We have her held Tied to a chair it. and greased. And the weasels are ready. And um, we're not going to let her up until 5.30 when, when she'll I be here. I don't think she wants to get and up. I here's Mal Nero. Those weasels. Here's Mal Nero. Oh, here we are. <laughs> 